a lot of action happens when we get the page good and wet. So once I get it wet, I give it a second saturation, and now we're ready to introduce the first wash of color. I find that, especially in the beginning phases, you're a little bit unsure of yourself, and so we tend to understate these first washes. I'm going to tilt the board up and let this blend back in the other direction in just a minute. And we're going to watch this and let this have a little bit of a life of its own. Don't worry about the drips that will occur. I'm going to turn this to the side and back up. We'll oftentimes do a little more painting while it's upside down and let that blend back in the other direction. Always remember step one, which is getting the page wet before we begin to introduce these granular washes. Tilting the board, trying to discover excitement as the painting progresses. These very warm washes are going to then turn cooler so I'm introducing a little bit of cerulean blue into this warm gray. And then the old saying, what you have on the bottom, have a little bit on the top, comes to mind. And so I'm going to just build a little bit of a violet that we have in the, in the top of the painting and bring that into play as well. And then I'm going to tilt the board back and let that granulate a little bit back the, uh, in the other direction. I'm about to dry the page off, but I want to just soften a few edges and lift out a few soft lights before we do so. This edge, a little harsh. I'm going to just, the page is still wet here, so I'm just going to blend that, take that hard edge off. My little Sun. It's a little hard edged as well. I'm going to come in and just blend right along the edges. If you enjoyed the demo, give us a thumbs up and write a comment. And if this is the kind of content you're looking for in watercolor, please consider subscribing to our channel. It helps Martha and me out more than you know. Thanks again. See you soon. <laughs> if we could push this back a little bit darker, a little bit darker as needed. I don't want to go too dark. We're going to add a few more darks shortly, but I try to stay in value. In other words, I paint the lighter washes into the middle value washes and then save the darker washes for last. These rocks are a little farther away. I'm wetting them down. Get out a larger brush, wetting them down. They won't need to be quite as strong in value. And I do need to get back and soften some of the edges of these rocks before it has a chance to firm up too much. on we'll watch the page and let these colors blend together until we find something that's a little more to our liking wetting it down making sure this is wet and then bringing in some good strong color good feeling
in a wet into wet granular wash. Let that reflection blend together on the page. This sets up a mood. It has a, a, a feeling of atmosphere, of a feeling that we're trying to encourage with these granular washes. We're having to adjust things. Things are happening in unpredictable ways. Some of them are good. Some of them are bad. We'll have to make adjustments as the painting evolves. Uh, and my lights have changed, for instance, uh, in ways that were unexpected. I might let these reflections be a little stronger in value. I'm going to have to lift those lights out again. Maybe this is a, a good example of an edge quality on the rock that I wasn't predicting, I didn't expect. And while that's wet, we'll come in and just bring in a little stronger value, a little more of an accent. Granulation is a wonderful aspect of the medium of watercolor. It's a big part of what makes watercolor unique as a medium. Because of its transparency, we're able to make these wonderful glowing colors wet into wet.